think if anybody has looked at the Women's Aid website on the 16 facts for the 16 days, they are indeed very stark, uh, Chairperson. Uh, one in two women are who are murdered in Ireland are killed by their partner or their ex-partner. One in three women experience emotional abuse from a partner or an ex-partner. One in eight women are abused while pregnant. Ireland has only one third of the refuse space required for this, uh, for this outrageous problem. Children experience domestic abuse and violence against women, they say, they finish with, is a human rights issue. And like many areas, we're failing very poorly on our human rights uh, record. We also have a situation where nine out of our 26 counties in the Republic, so-called, do not have a refuge or secure refuge uprooting children from school and taking women away from their own immediate friends and support networks. 3,256 unmet requests for refuge services are the figure for 2018. I don't have the figure for 2019. With only 21 refuges in the entire country, we provide a mere 31% of that recommended in the Istanbul Convention. Um, my cousin worked for probably 30 years almost as an assistant for uh, women's aid and uh, uh, appointed to taking women to the courts and, and their children. She retired recently and she said the saddest thing for her was when she left the job, she was increasingly sending women back into the arms of, her abuse, of their abusers. The reason being that there's no homes for them to go to. There aren't enough refuge spaces and the housing crisis has exacerbated this absolute tragedy. And for people who work with them, more for people who suffer under, but for people who work with them, this is a terrible tragedy. It wasn't like that 20 years ago. It is now exacerbated by the terrible housing crisis that we have. Mm -hmm. I want to mention two particular incidents. Uh, one is uh, Carlow. County Carlow does not have a refuge. And uh, I would like to say that Women's Aid have stated that an independent report launched there last year, commissioned by Carlow County Development, uh, said that it was highly critical of the lack of a refuge. Tuzla are refusing to acknowledge the need for a refuge in Carlow and are instead advocating for safe accommodation. How can that be acceptable, Minister? Considering the national deficit of refuges and an independent report which is stating otherwise. And his, there is a quote from Tusla. In the case of Carlo, Kilkenny needs analysis. There are a number of recommendations, one of which was the provision of additional domestic violence safe accommodation. It's important to note the distinction between safe accommodation and refuge accommodation, which are two different models of service provision. And in this respect, the needs analysis did not uh, identify or recommend the provision of refuge accommodation. Safe accommodation is where a woman can go in the middle of the night, which of course is badly needed, but it doesn't offer longer term uh, secure accom accommodation for women or children. Um, and women in Carlow who can access that sort of accommodation have to go to the Amber Centre in Kilkenny. Now the reason I raise it is because I was asked to do so. Father Peter McVerry will be attending a rally <clears throat> there this weekend. It will be taking place at the Fountain at 2 o'clock and that rally is to advocate for the establishment of a refuge dedicated to Carlow Town. But one of the things that um, our councillor, Adrian Wallace, points out to me when she wrote and asked me to raise this was the 60 million of funding that was fenced, ring fenced for children, uh, children in need and handed back by Catherine Subhone, the Minister for Children, to the state, leaving, I think it's 6,000 children without a social worker. And it might seem a kind of a mute point or a tangential point, but it's actually directly connected. So I also have a letter here from a former worker in the Docus Family Centre in Liscairn in Clondalkin, made redundant due to, guess what, funding issues. She worked directly with parents and children and often the families were referred to her due to protection concerns. Most of the clients that attend the centre have addiction issues, but due to the huge loss of finances, there was, there was uh, finances withdrawn from it, two or three social workers made redundant, but the need has not gone away. In one of the most deprived areas of the city, the need uh, still exists and the DOCA centre uh, should be fully staffed, funded and providing for the people of Clondalkin. So maybe in your responses, Minister, you could explain not just that this is an accountancy issue, but where is the morality in 60 million being handed back by Tusla to the state 
that was dedicated on ring fence for children in need when we've over 6,000 children who need social workers and we have only one third of the provision for refuges for victims of domestic violence uh, in this country. I want to finish by saying that like Deputy Covinger, I too was inspired by the feminist uprising that has taken place from India to Chile to France to Italy to Spain and I hope it spills over here because women are now demanding an end not just to domestic violence, but an end to the, uh, the disregard of their needs and the funding that is required to help empower them and their children. Thank you, Deputy. And now